All right, on to our last question because we're running out of time. Uh, basically, we have Reg emailing. She says, I am a silver surfer. Getting old, I can relate to that. I'm getting a little bit of gray hair, mostly in my beard, uh, and I'm partially sighted. Uh, I see on your video presentations how you zoom in and out on web pages. Can you please let me know how to do this as it will help me with my poor eyesight? And it's using Windows XP. Well, on the Mac, like I say, we, we have this little zoom thing here where I basically can hold down, a, I can do a keyboard shortcut, and you see how I'm able to zoom way in, or whatever it is on the Or single click zoom out, yeah. And basically, I, the way I'm gonna show first how to do it on the Mac part, then I'll show you the, the XP. So basically, in System Preferences, for those of you that are Mac users, there's a little section called Universal Access, sort of like a handicap section. You click on that, and there's lots of features in here, and that's how we increase like the mouse. That's how I increase the cursor size for the mouse Whoa. so you guys can see our pointer, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it in these videos very well. But under Scene, there's a zoom feature that we have turned on, and it gives you, and it gives you options. You can hold down these two keys or do plus or minus to zoom in and out. That's an option for you. Um, you can also do an option and scroll wheel, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. You can hold down the option or control key and, and, and just use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in as well. But under the options tab, you can adjust how far it zooms in. Like right now we have it about two, but I can say let's set it into ten. Let's see what happens when I do that. And then do a... Woo! Really big. So you have, a, I mean, you, that's just 10. It goes up to 20. So I guess if you want to view a pixel at a time, <laughs> you might want to do that. But I like two works pretty well. And you can keep bumping it up, too. Yeah. The one thing it does have, it does have an option for continuously with the pointer, which I hate. And I'll show you what that does. If I do plus, it, whenever I move the pointer, it starts moving. Ooh. And that makes me very seasick. So I do only when the pointer reaches an edge. And that way, if I just need to go up a little bit, it's only when I get to the edge, will it actually slide it up a little bit for what me. What you've seen in the past from our videos. Mm -hmm. And so those are the, that's how we do it on the Mac, and it's really easy to, to be able to do that sort of thing. I'll just click Done and close out. Now, for Windows, I'm going to go to my handy little uh, running parallels, and in the Start menu, let me come down here, you click on the Start menu, and you go to your uh, Control Panel. Okay. Now, in Control Panel window, you see Accessibility Options. If you click on that, similar. Now to make this a little bit easier, I'm actually going to change my view real quick. I'm going to go view to view it as an OS window, so you can see what this would really be like on a Windows computer. All right. So I have this window here. Yeah. Pull this over. <laughs> and basically, you look here and you're saying, I don't see anything. Adjust the, for contrast and text. Uh, configure Windows to work for your vision. This is great to adjust the, you know, some of the things that you can do. There's accessibility options down here. One of the things I find if if you don't. Yeah. If you go over here to Magnifier, uh -huh. it's a little hidden thing. And I keep getting, <laughs> I'm hitting the uh, Windows key down here, but Magnifier. Yeah, we're currently zooming in with the Macintosh. Zoom and we're using still. a Sony keyboard, so we're really cross-platform. <laughs> it is. It's, it's confusing. <laughs> so we hit Magnifier, and the Magnifier gives me options here. Zoom out. Hopefully oh, here you comes your window. <laughs> All right. Uh, intended to provide a minimum level of functionality for users with sight or impairments. And say, so, yeah, okay, whatever. And then I have a choice of magnification level. Now, if you look back here, we actually have a window. So let me uh, scale this window down so it doesn't take up as much space. Pull it down. And if you can't see this, right up here at the top, I have a window that I can actually drag it. Click and drag the window. And if I can get the edge to actually stretch it out from the edge, it's over to the right. And what I got is a, is a window here that I can pull out, and, and it'll show me exactly what I'm zoomed in on. So if I want to zoom in on the handicap symbol, it's small here, but over here it's bigger on the right, which I can't really point to because of the way the thing works. But if you're looking at the main camera here, you can see it's over there, but it's showing me a window over here that's actually zooming. And that's where I can uh, make it a window. So here we go. I got it as a separate window now. I just clicked and dragged to make it a separate window. And now I can click this. And now I can just leave this over to the side. Oh, I don't want to make it float. <laughs> ah, pull it back off again. It's a separate window. There we go. So I have this window. And then if I want to come in here and view things, I've always got this little window down here that I can uh, zoom in exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And so it gives me a little window that's zooming in. But the problem is it's not making use of my large screen for me to zoom in the whole thing at a glance. And so that makes it a little hard. But if you're just trying to see something real small, what are they saying there? Then I can just view that larger right down here below, which is kind of nice. 
I don't find it quite as helpful, but that is a way for um, Windows XP to maybe help you out with what you're doing. There are some other programs Software. out there you might be able to buy. I know a friend of mine, um, she had bought a mouse and keyboard wireless set, and it actually had built in where you could press a button on the side and drag it out. Mm -hmm. and it would make like a magnifying glass box yeah. that wherever you rolled over, it would magnify that section, which was yeah. kind of neat. I mean, some of the other things we also do to be able to zoom stuff in is use like the Opera browser. If you're low vision, that's kind of great because it can zoom in. The, you can view the web page automatically, all your web pages at 150% size, mm -hmm. which uh, can be helpful trying to read some of the small text at like CNN.com. My gosh, that's that small. <laughs> and if you just increase the text size, suddenly you can't read all the text because it goes off behind things. It hides behind pictures and stuff. Yeah. And with the Opera thing, it actually zooms in the entire window, which means the pictures as well as the text. And I think there's a plug-in for Firefox that you can do this with as well. Firefox plugins. So many Firefox plugins is bound to be. So that might be an option for you. I don't think IE will do this sort of task, though, mm -hmm. if you use an Internet Explorer. But it, yeah, if this is something that's definitely important to you, you may want to do some search for magnification programs and find a really nice one that suits you. I have to pay for it, but... Right. If, you, if anybody out there watching this stuff knows of a program someone's bought, if you have an idea if it's kind of low cost or if it's more cost, but it's just a great program, uh, point, post it to our comment section again on yeah. our blog. We've got to share this information with all the techies of you out there that are watching our show as well. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I think we're out of time, unfortunately. Uh, but coming up next week, we're going to actually give you a detailed report of how we're doing this whole parallels thing down here, how we're running Windows on the Mac. We're going to give you a little more information on how to do that yourself and how easy it is and how that can make things work better for you so you can live in a, you know, Live, can't Unity, we all just live together? Yeah, unified yeah. world. Yeah, you know, sheep and lions sleeping together, you know? Young and sort of a, old. A garden of <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we'll uh, tune in next week and uh, uh, we'll, we'll try to share more <laughs> information with you and more viewer questions that you send to us at askthetechies at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. <laughs>